Welcome back to my backyard again. We have to take advantage of this beautiful weather here in Southern California. And I'm finally recreating those fish tacos that you guys have been asking me for. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how I prepare my fish. I will be using tilapia fish, but you could use any type of fish of your choice. This is what I'm used to and I like it. So I'm gonna start marinating it. And so what I like to do, it's already pre-washed. I wash my hands too. And what I like to do is I like to cut them in long pieces just like this. That way the fish cooks faster and you have nice healthy portions for your taco. So now we put it inside the bowl. All right, well, let me hurry up and cut all these up so I can start marinating them. And as you're cutting your portions, if you see that this little part is too thin, just leave it alone because it cooks really fast. All right, so we are done cutting our fish. Let's put this away, wash our hands, and let's marinate our fish. I'm gonna be using just regular mustard. Any brand will do. I'm gonna be using some Cajun seasoning. This salt or this seasoning is already salty. So you gotta make sure that you know how much you're putting in. So just kind of sprinkle it in. Some garlic powder and some black pepper. Now don't be afraid to get in there and just mix it all in. Believe me, you can use a spoon, but your hands do a much better job. So now that your fish is marinating, you washed your hands, put this to the side, and now let's do our batter. All right, so for our batter, you're gonna be using just regular flour, and this is the all-purpose flour. So two cups of that. I'm gonna be using Montejo beer. I usually use Modelo, but I'm not gonna run to the store, and this beer or any beer will work wonderfully. So now let's open it up. Just pour it. Look at this. <laughs> I only want to sip. Con tajín y limón. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a little bit of mustard. And this you can go, it really, you really don't have to measure it as long as whatever, however amount you want. It's perfect. One teaspoon, one tablespoon, two tablespoons. It's totally up to you. Now this, you do need roughly a, uh, a full tablespoon. And again, we already seasoned our fish, but I like to season my batter too. So now, there we go. And now another hefty tablespoon of the uh, Cajun seasoning, just like that. And now you mix. Look at this, beautiful. Make sure that you mix your batter really well and you keep on adding more. So this is kind of like where you kind of eyeball it. All right guys, so I ended up using a can and a half of the beer and this is the consistency that you want. Not too thick, not too runny as well because you don't want the batter falling off your fish. And then what do you do with the rest of the beer? Just get a little limon, some tajin, and you just drink, cheers. Oh my gosh, good. Guys, I know I'm always eyeballing my recipes and I'm all over the place, but I will promise you I'll have the recipe down on my description with the exact measurements. So now as you, as the batter sits, it's gonna thicken a little bit and make sure again that it's not too runny. So now let's put it aside and let's cut our veggies. Now that the fish is marinating and the batter is done, let's cut our veggies to um, shred your cabbage really nice and thin just like this because this is gonna go in your taco so you want to make sure it looks nice and pretty beautiful why do we like fish tacos because every time that we go to Ensenada we that's when we have to stop at Mercado Negro and we have to order it's kind of like a must thing and uh, all those flavors that we get that are authentic from Ensenada, I try to replicate them here at home. So, 
I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. All right, so now that we have already washed our cabbage, let's start working on our bandera de Mexico. So again, you want to make sure you cut your onion, your tomatoes, and your cilantro. Okay, so now that we have our onion nicely cut, you just dump it all in. All right, so now let's start dicing our little Roma tomatoes. All right, so we are done with our tomato. And look at this, so pretty. And lastly, our cilantro. Make sure that you cut the stems out. You don't want, especially if they're too thick, you don't want them and the rubber band and I already pre-washed them, I already dried them up because if you wash them it kind of and they use them immediately they, they kind of bruise up so you got to make sure that they nicely air out after you wash them. Look how pretty. I just love the smell of cilantro. Okay so now and look at this our bandera de Mexico. The bandera de Mexico is such a traditional ingredient to most of the Mexican dishes. The cilantro, the cebolla, and the tomato. Always a must. And now you gotta make sure you put some limon or lime. This is from my lemon tree in our backyard. Look how pretty they are. And they don't have any seeds. Is it a limon? Is it a lime? Maybe it's a combination of both, but it's not a lima. And now you mix it. Mix! And make sure that you mix it really well. If you have rabanos, which is the radish, go ahead and dice them. I don't have them right now. And again, I'm not going to run to the store because of the whole quarantine thing. But believe me, if you have them, it's such a major plus. I dice them and I put them in here. I think I've showed you guys in some of my other previous videos. Again, it's not uh, something that you need to have. But if you do have it, it's a huge plus. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I make my salsa. I already roasted my tomatoes, my garlic, and my habanero peppers. I like to roast everything, so I already pre-roasted them. Now I'm gonna put them on my blender. If you have the cherry tomatoes, even better. I like the combination of the uh, cherry tomatoes with the uh, roasted habaneros, perfect. So let me just throw everything in here. Beautiful. Now, just a little bit of water, just a little. And of course, the chicken bouillon. And this is what gives it the flavor. Just like that. Roughly, it's a tablespoon. Okay, so now let's blend. And it's done. You see how fast that was? Beautiful. All right, so now let's get our aguacate chile. Now for my famous aguacate chile. I'm just gonna use one avocado because believe me, it goes a long way. Like how pretty this is. You wanna make sure you just get this, uh, the seed out. All right, so make sure that you just kinda just slit them out so when you're putting them out, they're nice and easy to get out. So with these serranos, you have to be very careful how many you use. Uh, because they are very spicy so since it's going to be an aguacate chile and these are pretty small I'm gonna be using six for one aguacate all right so let me put them in here let me spoon these out let me get a little bit of water and the limon this the, lim the, the lemon juice is just gonna help it so it won't uh, turn color like that brown color let me just blend it. Beautiful. Perfect. All right. All right, so I'm gonna put my fish in the batter, then transfer it in the fryer. All right, so follow me to the fryer. All right, make sure that your fish is full of batter and you put it in slowly. Look at that. So pretty. The other one. 
Oh my God, I could already smell all those aromas. It smells so good. Make sure that you don't overcrowd your pan because that's when uh, they don't get that nice crisp. And look at this one, that one's already almost done. Remember, the fish fries really fast. All right, so my fish has been frying for six to eight minutes, and it's totally up to you how crispy you want this, but look at how beautiful these are. They look like big old shrimp tempuras. That one still needs a little bit more. This one is about right. You can actually feel it on the texture. When it's nice and crispy, nice and hard, they're done. And pull them out. So now make sure that you sit them on the, on the rack so they won't get soggy. Now let's cook our tortillas. Did you know that there's two sides of your tortilla? When you're warming it up, make sure that this side is in the middle so you can get it not a really nice, good steam. Now that we have our warm tortillas, you wanna spread some mayonnaise. Uh, you can also spread sour cream if you don't like mayonnaise. They both taste as good. So just a little bit goes a long way, just like this. And now let's decorate our tacos. Look how beautiful this fish turned out. Beautiful, I love it and I could just smell it. So. Our cabbage salad, just like this. Oh my gosh. I want to bite my taco already. A little bit of the habanero sauce or the salsa. And this is the aguacate chile. Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. Beautiful! Now, let's put some limon. All right guys, I have been waiting to bite my taco all this time. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the lemon. I already have my avocado sauce, the chile de aguacate, my salsa banero, and I just can't wait. This reminds me of Ensenada so much. I just love visiting that place. So now, let's, let's try it out. Mmm. Oh my god. Guys, this fish taco is bomb ass. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you like this recipe. Don't forget to give me that like and that subscribe. Bye.